Uh, it's your boy Loco here from Boxing Loco. I'm here with the future of boxing, Johnny Mansoor. How are you, champ? Doing great. You know, just been working hard and excited for my pro debut, May 18. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. You have a pretty deep amateur pedigree, multi-time national champion, ranked number one light di uh, lightweight division, whole country. You're competing with Team USA. Tell me a little about that. You know, it's great. It's great that I come from a, a solid amateur pedigree. I have a lot of experience. You know, I was with the USA team for a few years, you know, just building up my experience. And now it's time to transition. You know, the time is right. God has his greatest time ever. So it's time to transition it all into the professionals and, and just start my way and start my dream of becoming a world champion. No doubt. At what age did you start boxing and when do you realize that you want to box like at the pro level? I started boxing when I was eight years old. It's, man, it was like love at first sight. You know, my biggest blessing in life is knowing exactly what I wanted to do at the age of eight years old. You know, so now that I'm here, you know, it's, it's time to fulfill that dream, my childhood dream. You know, even at the times that I feel like giving up, it don't matter. My childhood self made a promise and it's time to fulfill that. So you'll be making your pro debut May 18th on Navarrete versus Branchek fight on ESPN in your hometown of San Diego. I know that you proudly, proudly represent San Diego. How special is it to make your pro debut right here in Diego in your backyard? You know, I appreciate Top Rank, you know, presenting me this opportunity to be able to perform in my hometown. You know, I know thousands of my family, friends, and, and fans, and all my supporters are going to be there. So, you know, it's great. I'm excited to, to be able to showcase my skills on a great platform like ESPN. Give us a rundown of a life of a boxer. What does your daily routine consist of? My daily routine is crazy, man. I wake up at five, six in the morning, run like four or five miles. I got three coaches, you know, so all three coaches put me to work. My strength and conditioning coach, Coach Tez, Coach Berlin and Robert, two head boxing coaches. So, you know, I do three, four hours a day of just boxing, you know, two hours a day of just running, you know, an hour a day of strength and conditioning, an hour of swimming, and a whole nother two hours of just recovery itself. So it's a lot of work and it's, it's a full-time job. Damn. Uh, what boxers did you look up to and it influenced you to get into the sport? Um, I would say, you know, Amir Khan was definitely a big influencer of mine, and you know, Prince Nassim Hamed was a great influence of mine. You know, country heroes, Manny Pacquiao, but my favorite current boxer is Terrence Crawford. Nice. What boxer's style would you say is closest to your own style? I would say Amir Khan. Like, a lot of people say, like, you know, I have a lot of speed, and I kind of just let my hands go like Amir Khan. Yeah, Amir Khan. That's what's up. What, what would you say is your best attribute as a fighter? Your speed, timing, power? I would say uh, there's two things. I would say my speed and my footwork. Um, I work a lot of footwork drills, so footwork is, is very important in the sport of boxing. If you weren't a boxer, what would you be doing instead? God knows, man. I fell in love with this at, at such a young age, so I definitely would be, you know, taking over my family's businesses and, and helping out, growing, expanding those businesses. So you know, I come from a business family. You know, boxing is another business itself. Okay. What's your favorite hobby outside of boxing? Favorite hobby outside of boxing? You know, I love uh, going to the beach, you know, just playing basketball. I love just all active things, man. Staying active, going on hikes. That's what's up. What are some of your goals that you want to achieve as a pro boxer? My goal is to be, you know, a world champion, but not only be a world champion, you know, I want to be a champion inside the ring, but also outside the ring. You know, I want to build a great foundation. You know, I want to support, you know, my home my family's hometown country, you know, which is Iraq, build big boxing facilities and bring some faith into the Middle Eastern lifestyle with the sport of boxing. Are there any boxers that you have your eyes set on to share the ring with one day? Boxers, I would say a lot of them, man. A lot of them, you know. The 135 division is stacked, you know, you got Tank, you got Haney, you know, there's a lot of people, you know, Ryan just moved up to 140, you know. I look up to Ryan, man. He's, he, he works hard and, and he does a lot of great things and he inspires a lot of big people. That's what's up. Who's your top five uh, pound for pound boxers right now? Top five pound for pound, I would say number one is Terrence Crawford. Number two is Terrence Crawford. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. There's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of talent in a way. The sport in a way is definitely up there. You know, so it's hard. I got to think about that one. All right. Um, can I, let me get some of your upcoming five predictions. Uh, Fury versus Usyk. Fury versus Usyk? I'm going to say Usyk, man. Usyk, you know, he's like a big Lomachenko, so I got I got a lot of faith in Usyk. Okay. What about Bebo versus Better BF? Bebo is strong, man, but Better Bebo, he's an animal. Man. He's a robot. He just comes forward and just knocks people out. So I'm going to give it to Better Bebo. 
Okay. And Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Oh, uh, don't even ask me about that one. <laughs> <laughs> don't even ask me about that one. All right, what about some potential fights? Canelo versus David Benavidez. Canelo, team Canelo all day, man. What about Canelo versus Terrence Crawford? Shh, don't ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me that. Uh, Tank versus Shakur Stevenson. Tank versus Shakur, I'll give it to Shakur. Shakur is, he's different, man. Ryan Garcia versus Pitbull Cruz. Ryan, all day. Do you have any advice for any young fighters who want to become a pro boxer one day? Absolutely, man. Anything is possible. You set your mind to it. You work hard. Whether you have the support or you don't, man. At the end of the day, everybody's going to ask you why you do things. Why you wake up early. Why you train so much. But once you start winning, everybody's going to ask you how. Uh, what message do you have to your fans? You got a lot of support here in San Diego. What do you want to tell them? Yeah, it's a blessing, man. Look how many people are here. You know, my fans support very heavily. You know, I, I'll never forget, you know, all the people that show up since day one, you know, to my pro debut, and, it, and it's a blessing. You know, I'm glad to, to carry on a great character and, and to just, you know, build faith for the younger generation to come behind me. No doubt. Okay, tell the fans where they can follow you on social media. Follow me on Instagram, you know, uh, at Johnny Mansour, J-O-N-N-Y, my last name Mansour, M-A-N-S-O-U-R. You know, I'll be vlogging my whole journey throughout this, this, this life. All right, thank you for your time, Chad. Good luck on your fight. I'm sure you're going to make the whole city proud. Thank you. Appreciate you.